Hey friends, it's Dwight, how are you? It's Friday, hoping you guys are looking forward to a great weekend. So I'm gonna do another pour today and it is going to be another pearl pour on a 24 by 30 canvas. And I'm gonna do probably, as I'm thinking now, a little bit more monochromatic. I'm not thinking about a lot of color. I just wanna get some nice pearls. I want it to be sort of a clean, crisp, abstract painting. Now, I wanna address something. I had gotten a couple of comments from people in my last pour doubting um, that I didn't use satin enamel or silicone to get those wonderful pearls. Now, I'll be honest with you, I wasn't really anticipating getting the pearls that I did on that pour because my paints were thick, because typically with a pearl pour, you want your paints to be pretty thin. So, um, yeah, I just use Floetrol, uh, paint, Liquitex pouring medium, and water. I mean, my my formulas go back to the days when I used to follow Melly D and she would do dump and swirls and other um, pours like puddle pours and um, flip cups and, and um, dirty pours, anyone you can think of, but she only used um, the paint, like a DecoArt uh, brand Americana, uh, Liquitex pouring medium and water. She didn't even use Floetrol. So just remember, Floetrol is a cell activator, just like Australian Floetrol. They're a little bit different. Um, I've had you know similar results, but not too different. So I just continue to use the American Floetrol. And I think the more you stretch your paints on your canvas, I think the better chance you're gonna get some cells. So just my observations for doing this for a little bit. And I'm hoping today I get a great um, bunch of cells and pearls. And yeah, so we'll get started here in just a minute. I'm gonna go up and mix my paints and I'll show you um, my paints once we get started and we'll see in a second. Hey friends, I'm back, I'm up in my studio and I've got my paints all mixed. Um, I have my white paint here and that's Artist Loft Soft Body White with Floetrol and a drizzle of Liquitex Pouring Medium. There is no satin enamel. Let me show you how thick it is. So it's a little thick, as you can see. It was about that thick yesterday and I got some great pearls. So I'm gonna do, I said earlier, like a monochromatic pour. I have these two colors here. That's left over from yesterday, that's Prussian blue. And this is Payne's gray. I'm gonna just put them in a cup and I'm gonna figure out how I'm gonna pour them on the canvas and then we'll move it around and hopefully we get some great pearls and go from there. Okay guys, hold on, I am going to Make sure everything is stirred up right and we'll get started.
guys, I am back. Um, here are the dried results of that last pearl pour. So I've been out of town for a couple days, so I finally got in here to show you. I didn't show you the wet results, but it looked pretty much the same. I like this orientation. I was trying to figure out, do I hang it vertically? Do I do it horizontally? But I think this worked out fine. Um, I think there's a balance in here with sort of this area against the dark black or the, you know, paints gray over here and tons of cells and a little bit less cells over here. So I think that works. I would hang it like that. So I'll just show you some of the details again. I have all these great cells, pearls. And remember, I didn't use satin enamel. I only used Liquitex pouring medium, Artist Loft Soft Body White, and Floetrol. And of course, some water. If you saw the early part of the video, you could see how uh, thick my paints were. And um, yeah, I'm gonna do another one. So anyway, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. And we'll talk to you real soon.